Hello, this is Mr. O'Thorn signing on with To Risk of Rain. So, yeah, last time unlocked the Enforcer. This time we're we're just gonna keep with the Commando. Uh, we'll be honest, it has been uh, just a bit of time since I last played this. I don't know what that is, but it's a free item, so we're gonna go get it. Come on. Awesome. So, I am steadily learning more and more of the items. At least, I'm trying to. I make no promises about ever knowing all of the items. The cube of meat is really nice uh, item to have. And we actually are going to want that little robot thing because to unlock one of the characters it's required to get uh i think four of those in a single run so whenever i see these guys they're priority number one for where my money goes uh some of them are healing uh, I should have read what it did. Some of them are for combat. Um, others are just straight up utility. Uh, I think those are the only three types. There's there's not that many types of the robots in this. So, with that in mind, we're going to adjust the music really quick. Okay, that's good enough. Oh, it's a combat one. Awesome! That means... I have a little more DPS. Ow. There we go. Now, I am not actually sure how to get over to those items. Ooh, there it was. There it was. Now, the question is, I am not able to actually get those items. Hmm. Ooh, multi-level? That is some sweet shit. Oh, and the end of the level is there. I think. So, yeah, I need to get over there somehow. A med kit? Receive delayed heal after being hit. Well, that's nice. I. Ooh, those, those mortar strikes. I want those. At least one of them. Oh my god, this is going very badly.
Oh, sweet Jesus. I think our little robot got a wee bit damaged. Yup, the robot is a wee bit damaged. Thankfully though, we found another one. And I think that it's just a, like a minimum number of picked up. It's not you have to have all of them at once. Another gun one. Okay, cool. Yeah, as ready as I'll ever be. What are we gonna get, end up going against? Ow. See, down here would be the perfect arena for fighting the night. If I wouldn't have all these other guys as well to deal with. I'm like leaning so much into my screen right now. Oh, fuck you. No! I actually want to beat this level again. Oh, shit. Okay, these turrets are really making it possible for me to get away with this shit. Because otherwise, I would be shit out of luck. Dodge. Oh, dear lord. No. Oh, dear lord. No! Okay, so... Oh. Now we just need to kill the Magalmorm, and... That's eh, not too hard. So long as I, you know, don't fuck up royally. Heal quickly when standing still for two seconds. Two seconds. Ooh, I got a couple mortar shells in. Ooh, that was that was something sweet. On. Only a couple more hits left. Ooh, what the? The worm's eye seems to still see watching the warden. Okay. Well, hey! We actually beat the first boss! Which is quite a bit better than how I've been handling it in previous episodes of this, actually. And, you know what? I can do this. I'm fairly certain you have to kill everyone. Yes, okay. So this is the extremely boring part. Awesome. And I am going to be trying to get as much good shit as I can. I don't know what this is. Summon imps holding rewards. Oh. I think I actually got him. However, this time, we will be... ...clearing this out. We'll be doing that again. 
Uh, the big thing about this game is your money does not carry over between levels. So, uh, what it does do, however, is makes it so that uh, you end up with no oh, wire. Uh, you end up with situations where you have, you know, tons of money at the end of a level, and you know you're not going to be able to keep it. Uh, the only thing is, money carries over as becoming, uh, experience. For each dollar that you have, that's a point of experience. So if I really wanted to, I could just kill all the enemies, call it good, and have that much experience. However, the, yeah, the abilities, or the uh, items, are worth way more than the experience. Because all the experience does is increase your base health and health regen. That is actually a really shitty use item, so I'm going to be trying to replace that if I can remember correctly yeah uh this character can roll to avoid damage when falling it's really cheap and slightly cheating but i don't care <laughs> i have died more than enough times uh we're gonna get that obelisk and that question mark because i want to know what it does Oh, it's a use item. Drone repair kit. Yes! That! Yes! Yes! All of the yes! Chance to fire missiles. Awesome. Falling to low health stops time. And this, this is why I wanted to go back and grab as much stuff as I possibly could. Because of the fact that you can get so much good stuff. And the fact that I can't actually get the stuff that's over there is really annoying. However, why do I have the feeling this is a, like, there's a hidden pathway here that I'm just missing? Once again, we're going to grab the question mark. However, that active item is not getting replaced. Gain gold over time. Hey! We got something of a run going! I think. Retaliate on taking heavy damage. After taking damage, reflect all attacks for seconds. Yeah! Okay. Well, uh... We got a run, ladies and gentlemen. We have a run. Finally. Another med kit. Okay. So that means every time I get hit, I have a chance of healing for 30 damage. I now have two mortars and two bustling fungus. There's got to be a way to have a character that's basically unkillable when he's not moving. Like, there just has to. Because there's so many items that just basically go, yeah, when you're not moving, you gain bonuses. I am coming over here to grab this little canister. Or not, because I'm not going to worry about it. Don't know why I fell through, but I fell through. The difficulty is about to ramp up incredibly. Uh, not... I've never been this far! I have never, ever, ever made it this far. Uh, so this is a first for me. And I am in a decent spot for the next level. So let's hope that I don't end up being absolutely murderatized. Uh, 
on impact. Okay, so those are vines. Ow. That, those are not platforms. Canister. Okay, that's health. Where are the enemies? I I'm fucking paranoid now because of having such a good start to a run. Oh, lovely. The jellyfish are tanky as shit now. Okay, we... We don't want to be here. We don't want to be here. We don't want to be here. So, what we're going to do instead is we're going to immediately hit this thing. Not another magma worm. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Ow. I lost a drone. Uh oh. I lost another drone. That, I went the wrong way. No! No, 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 no! I can just survive a little longer. Oh, lovely. Okay. So long as nothing... I was about to say, so long as nothing spawns up here, I'm fine. Immediately something spawns up here. Oh my god. Ow. I don't know how I'm dealing damage to things. I had it! Ah oh, ha ha! I was about to win that too! Ah. Oh. New item. No, we're gonna go back to the main menu and see what item we just unlocked. So here's the items that we picked up that were new this time. Uh, Burning Witness kills Grant Fire Trail. 5% uh, movement speed and 1 damage for 6 seconds. Okay, that's cool. Uh, the toolbox, which the the drone repair kit, which uh, if we're going for a drone build, this is needed, and I need to remember to use it. Uh, then the rotten brain, which is I'm I probably should have actually taken that had I known that my drones were going to die that quickly. It just it's a bomb, basically. The Repulsion Armor, after 6 hits, reduce and reflect incoming damage by 83% for 6 seconds. So that's not based on numbers. That's based on number of hits. Or that's not based on just the raw damage. That's based on the amount of hits. That's stupid. And Timekeeper Secret, falling to low health stops time for 3 seconds. That was useful if I had actually done the proper thing. Uh, there is one item. This one. Pass a shrine four times in a row. Done. I am guessing, from the looks of it, that that is a missile thing. Reach 650 health. Okay. Fail a th shrine three times in a row. That's just up to dumb luck. Uh, block 2,000 damage total with your shield. So that's, we should actually start working towards that for the next couple episodes. Because that, that's easy enough to get. Obtain seven monster teeth and one guardian heart. Don't know what those are. Bank 20,000 gold. My guess is that's at like the end of level. Uh, kill the scavenger. Drown 20 whirls. Okay. Find the bloated survivor. Don't know. Use a health shrine that drops you below 5% health. That's weird.
weird, but okay. I don't, I don't think I've seen most of these things. Survive 40 minutes. See, I can do that one fairly easily if I game the system, but I don't really want to. End a teleporter timer with zero enemies on the map. That one's just being conscious of what this stuff is. Survive in lava for one minute straight. Well, that's just a certain build. Commando, activate the, tel the third teleporter without being hurt once. Good luck with that. Die 50 times. <laughs> We're getting there. Uh, obtain 30 items in one playthrough. Well, that's going to be fun. Stay in shield mode for five minutes straight in combat. That's easy enough to do. Survive a boss with less than 20% health. Okay. Unlock a golden chest with explorer's key. Don't even have the explorer key. Have four drone helpers at once. That is what we are looking for. Drone things. Deal 5,000 damage in one shot. Good luck with that. So, yeah. We're going to go... I got a ton of new records this game. So, we're going to see about using the Enforcer and getting that block damage up to see if we can't unlock that item next time. I doubt we're going to do it in a single episode, but hey, one can only hope. Uh, and those item objectives are not going to be the main focus of the the videos. They're just going to be something that happens as time goes on. Uh, so yeah, that was actually really fun. Uh, if I sounded a little hoarse, it's because my throat is really raw right now uh, for a multitude of reasons. And yeah, I think I just need to drink a little bit more water, to be honest. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Risk of Rain. I certainly got my shits in, my shits and giggles. And I had a load of fun, man. It was great. I finally got a good run, and I fucked it up right at the end. God damn it, fuck. Unlocking new stuff. So long as we unlock a new item each time, we're, we're going in the right direction. Anyways, this has been Mr. Othorum with Risk of Rain, signing off.